Good morning everyone. Welcome back to you all at BISP Solutions. This is Farha Alam and in this tutorial series we are having a look on Oracle Fusion HCM Cloud Fast Formula. And in our uh, last uh, session we had uh, seen uh, the element input validation formula uh, which was basically validating uh, the input value entered by the user. Uh, and we had attached uh, that uh, particular formula at the element level, right? So in this one, we are uh, going to take a look on the element input validation formula at input level. It is not necessary that we can attach our validation formula at the element uh, level only. We can attach it at the input level also. So in order to attach uh, that validation formula at the input level. So let's go ahead and see how do we do that. So in order to uh, attach the validation formula at the input level, let's go to the instance and see how do we do that. So uh, this is the home page of our application and navigation in order to reach out to the first formula is uh, simple. Click on this setting and uh, action button or uh, profile icon and click on setup and maintenance. Then task panel. <laughs> and click on search and here we have to search for past formulas click on it and here we can search our uh, uh, existing formulas as well and we are going to create new one so i am going to click on this create icon and here i have to provide the name for my formula which is going to be element input validation and this time i am going to attach it at the input level so my input is going to be amount amount is my input over here and ff stands for fast formula this is the this is the name for my formula and Next, we have to select the type. Type remains the same. And if we want to provide the other information, so we can do that also as it is not the mandatory one. So I am leaving it blank. LDG, if you want to select, you can select it. So after providing all the uh, required or mandatory information, click on continue. So the fast formula editor window has opened before us. So here we have to provide our formula, right? This is the editor where we can write our formula. And for time being, I have already written my formula and this is the validation formula here. Copy this one and paste it over there so this formula is basically validating the the uh, entered value or uh, input value entered by the user if the uh, entry value is greater than 50 then uh, the formula status will set to s stands for success and the formula message will be validate amount valid amount sorry and else if the uh, entered uh, value is less than 50 or equal to 50, then uh, the formula status will set to E stands for error and formula message will going to be enter greater than 50. So I'm going to do some changes over here. Formula message will be valid amount and Formula status S. Okay, so after providing formula over here, click on save, then submit. 
then click on compile we get one confirmation message click on ok and here the compile status is in progress refresh it until we get the success compile status success we have to refresh this page so here we can see that our uh, compile status is uh, our formula has been successfully compiled over here and this is the name for of my formula copy this one paste it over here okay click on done next we have to go to the elements right as we have to attach the uh, formula to the element right so in order to search the element we have to type elements over here and search for this one so here and um, I'm going to search for the element which is bonus pay search for this click select the LDG which is going to be US legislative data group click on search so here all the uh, respective uh, elements will display over here so this is basically our element and here uh, last time we, uh, we had attached our formula at this uh, uh, element which is bonus pay this is our element and here we had attached our formula under default entry values and validation uh, under validation we had attached our formula right so this is the element and under element we have some input values like state country city pay value amount periodicity and so on these are basically the uh, input right so th these are the inputs that comes under this element which is bonus pay these are basically uh, element is nothing but a collection or group of objects these are basically the individual object which comes under this uh, input values and that this input value comes under this element which is bonus pay so this time I'm going to attach my validation formula at the input level and which is going to be amount click on this one here the input value amount has opened before us click on this edit and correct select our formula which is element input validation amount ff select this one after providing the validation appropriate validation formula click on save then submit then done so we have we have created our formula we have attached it at the input level and now next what we have to do we have to assign this element to the particular employee to whom we want to assign this element right so in order to assign this element to the employee we have to search for that one so click under my client group click on person management and here we have to search for the person and which is I'm this time I'm going to select 56 and Philip Kent is the employee from US click on task panel and element entries search for the uh, element entry over here what was our an element to which we have attached our formula is bonus pay right this is our element search for this one click on continue here we can see the entry values uh, are display so 
formula is if the entry value is greater than 50 then the amount is valid and otherwise we are going to face the error right so this time i am going to provide the value 30 let's see what will happen so here we can see the error message validation formula error message please enter the value greater than 50 okay so if i provide the 50 then what will happen again we will going to face the error as the validation is greater than 50 right so if i provide 55 over here click on save this time the amount has been assigned so we can see the amount has been assigned to this particular employee which is philip kent click on done close and in order to find out whether this amount has been assigned to this employee or not we have to go to the home page under my client group we have to search for the option which is quick pay we have to run the the simplified quick pay in order to uh, check whether this amount has been assigned to that particular employee or not which is 56 right search for this one flip can't yes this is the employee to whom i have assigned that element which is bonus pay click on this one flip can't so here we can see the amount 55 has been assigned to this employee so this is basically the element input validation formula at the input level right this is how we can attach our formula at the input level i hope you find this one useful so this is uh, all about our today's session and thank you everyone for your time we'll continue in our upcoming session thank you everyone